Well guys, welcome to What Remains of Edith Finch. A game that I know basically nothing about aside from the fact that it looks kind of neat, it's $20, and it's from the people who made Unfinished Swan, which is pretty much enough reason for me to just try it out regardless. So let's get started. Got a journal with that, with the name. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. Hello? So we have a journal, which I assume is I written by... A chain link fence, but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it. That's gonna surprise- that's good. that's gonna do my head in, isn't Wilson it? disappeared when I was four. It was like the house just swallowed him up. Okay. Prepare for a lot of commentary where I stop mid-sentence because that happens. <laughs> Apparently that's how the story is gonna be handled in this game. So we have shift, but it's not a sprint or an or move faster, it's a zoom. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. That's not how you do that. In there we go. The mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Marked urgent. Open immediately. I didn't mean to close it. That was... There's some strange controls there. So I take it... I am, am I Edith or am I not Edith? That seemed like it was the journal of Edith who is dead. But this stuff kind of feels like I'm going to a place that where somebody already is dead if it's full of like... These the mail not being picked up and stuff. It's my brother Lewis's funeral. Oh. The so death is just a reoccurring thing. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. So both shift and right click are the zoom. We have a we have a divergence here. The straight obvious path or this downtrodden one. Beautiful environment. The truth is even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. I wonder if we're going a little bit into like a... What is it? Gone home situation? I haven't played that game yet either. We're exploring an abandoned house for answers as to... The, woods the family's house history has been uncomfortably silent, as if they're about to say something but never do. They're not really silent, though. There's a constant background ambience and animals and so on. I assume that the missing posters or our missing news broadcasts and stuff are about the the child that died, the brother. Let's make it a little bit brighter, perhaps. I think it might be a little dim. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. That is gargantuan. Holy crap. It's already a big house and they kept adding on to it like the Weasleys or something. Okay. Immediately, we're planting a little seed in my head here, the way that she says it's exactly how she remembered as she dreamed about it. If it's exactly how you dream about it, that sets me up with this idea that it might be one of those narratives where it turns out that this is how she dreams about it, because this is literally her dreaming about a place from her childhood. Which would answer some of the fantastical nature of that insane-looking tower up there. But maybe their dad was just that rad, I don't know. 
That's an insane house. I asked Edie once about the dragon in the pond. She said it had killed her husband. I was six. It seemed like an odd joke to me, even then. Maybe it literally killed her husband. Like, working on that? And then she, he just died tragically? Can I open the trash can? You never know what secrets you find in there. You could find a half-eaten raccoon carcass. These are just everywhere. Even though it seems like it may have happened a long time ago, so there's just been no one As a child, here. the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. I can put it into words. It's called building code. And gravity. And, uh, potential energy. Those are all words that come to mind. Now. As a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Well, at least it's not like abuse or something, it's just a spooky house. That's- that's way that's, that's way less bad than any- than most real problems people have. Unless the house actually falls down. Or you get like a Donnie Darko. Can I open this door, I wonder? Oh, am I gonna go through the... Oh, boy. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. That stuff made me nervous when we, when we had a Labrador, and it, we got a doggy door for a dog that big. I'm like, just, people are just gonna come in the house at that point, right? The power had been turned off the night we left. This place has been completely untouched for how how many years now? Do we have context for that yet? Honestly, I would have expected someone to break in by now. Or just animals. For the first time in years... I felt like I was home. Because for the first time in years, you are literally home. Those are a lot of cookbooks. Is that one? Oh, raw fowl. I was gonna say the raw owl. It's not entirely wrong, I suppose. Whoa, look at the yellowing on this old plastic microwave cover. There's a, there's a detail. Okay, well that would just make me nervous. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Okay. So that's me, right? That's... I'm Edith, I assume, in this situation? There's Edith, Edie, Lewis, and Dawn. And given this demographic, I'm guessing that, e that Edith is me. But the thing- the game's called What Remains of Edith Finch, but at, at the moment I'm not dead. Huh. The question is, who's reading the journal? Is it not me? Lewis Finch, in loving memory. 1988 to 2010, beloved brother to Edith, son of Don, great grandson to Edie, memorial service, Finch Family Cer uh, Cemetery, 2141, Fireweed Road. So Lewis died. That greatly reduces the number of options here. Edie might just be dead from age at this point, so I would guess that maybe Don's the one reading the journal, if something happens to Edith at all. You know, I'm reading into the foreboding title of the game, of course. So he died at the age of 22. Possibly seven years ago, if this game takes place now. And this place doesn't look like it's been used recently. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Oh, I want it. The last thing on the menu is apple pie. Gimme. Water purifier I wouldn't trust at this point. Or how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. Imperial Palace. 
I can get behind that. Yeah, they have so many cookbooks because no one else would deliver. Wow, they just keep going. There is- whoa, there is no way you got through all these. Oh, well, that one's repeating though. I see you there, raw fowl. There wind- it sounds like there's wind getting in here. The atmosphere here is neat. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. The social bomb, I suppose. Okay, these are all cookbooks. They're still cookbooks. Was she like a collector? Starts to get concerning at some point. They left their iPhone. Why would... Like, I get that you probably, like, stormed out. Like, I don't want to live here anymore. I don't know, maybe a tragedy happened. Maybe there was, like, a storm coming and they left. And then somebody would disappeared in the storm. And then they couldn't find them again and they just never wanted to go back in the house. Because if you were just moving out, even if you were, like, emotional about it, like... There's certain things you'd keep. Because otherwise you're just gonna have to go get another one. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. That's what happened. They wanted to put her Edie in a home, so she took out the kid. Now you can support me. You've got one less mouth to feed. I'm sorry, that's not at all. I don't like these. I don't like the creepy, I'm staring at you. Nothing vases. in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Oh man. Maybe you'd... Maybe you'd be able to store these books at a height where you could reach them easier if you didn't have so many cookbooks. I assume these aren't all cookbooks. These are probably just real books. <laughs> real books. Non-cookbooks. The weird seeing critically. Homeschooling essentials. Yeah. No, those are back to being cu cookbooks there. Those ones kind of went into like homeschool territory and educational stuff. Time and the gods. But then it's like, bam, back to cookbooks down here. Concerning. Someone crocheted. Look at this table. Man, you know kids ran directly shin first into that at some point. Does it have legs? Hey, there's a leg. For a second I thought it was just supported on books. That'd be amazing. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house, after it sank. After it sank? I assume not here. You definitely don't want to... You definitely don't want to build another house where previous ones sank. They must have moved. I mean, what do you are? What are you, Venice? Where's the father? Besides being killed by the dragon, I mean. That dragon cancer? Vacation photos, mostly. Is that just a cool image, or is some, does that history of a character? That's awful specific. Let's avoid the spooky basement for a bit. Oh, wait, I probably need a Mom key. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. No. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Hey, maybe I can just keep that running in the background now. It kind of transforms the space a little bit to have that kind of audio playing. I wonder if this door was locked on the other side? Or if my key worked? My key probably worked, right? A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Okay, so a question has been embedded now. There's something... Something happened, something tragic that led to them leaving their entire home in a hurry. 
My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. So Milton went missing in 2003. But the other the other brother went apparently died in 2010. We have a terrible history with keeping this family together. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. That's a trip. Why do we have a viewing eye for this door? Is it so they didn't have to render it or something? So there's no... Oh, it's sealed, isn't it? Oh, didn't mean to do that. They have like a sealed off library. Like, really sealed off. What are they keeping in there? Besides, you know, the dead family members, of course. On, on top of all the books everywhere here, and the, there's a library in there, there's books everywhere. Talking about a smile with too many teeth. There's also a sealed off library room, which just adds more questions. And there's a viewing window attached to the sealed room. This is one of the most baffling inclusions I've seen in a house. What the- what in the world is that for? November 2010. So, they left in November 2010, which is the same year that the brother died, but there's still flyers absolutely everywhere about the kid that went missing seven years before? Like, I understand them being in the house, but it's actually a little weird that they're still out in the, like, the forest everywhere. If they're that- if they're that old. At the very least, you think rain would take them out. Let's turn the music back on. And then go looking for our key, I suppose. Barbara Finch. Someone who directed monster movies, it looks like? Oh, hey, it's like Gremlins. It's the only time I've seen one of these before. Assisted. It's a it's a help chair. I don't know. I don't the know what to call it. Disappeared. Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. What? What is going on with these two? Okay, so yeah, you can you can sit in one of those and it'll help you get to the to the next floor or back down. It's for. People who have trouble getting around nowadays are pr probably are getting around with the wheelchairs and such, but they, uh... ...have the misfortune of living in a two-floor house. Well, she wasn't gonna reach those books then. So after the disappearance, they sealed the... ...bedrooms, and then Edie drew, uh... ...drilled peepholes. This is a... ...bizarre living relationship. Okay. Howdy. Is Molly? Is that what it says? No, Milton. No, it does say Molly. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with. If she hadn't died in 1947. Oh my god. Can I zoom in with shift? I can't. So she has... A weird shark thing... On her library. Looks like weird old jack-o'-lantern shelving things. Why is there a hamster cage in there? Do you seal them in? Do you see the ha seal the hamster in there too? Like a, like an Egyptian tomb with the pharaoh. All the servants will die with me. If you're wondering how I got confused, by the way, I was reading that. I was like, oh yeah, it probably says Molly, but I was like, wait, no, obviously it's Milton because that's the name we got already. But nope, that made it pretty obvious. I just hadn't seen that yet. So she died at the age of ten. Jeez. So each of these sealed rooms is somebody's is actually the the room where somebody of somebody who died. Why is everyone dying at some, such young ages? That's awfully concerning. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. This is the actual- this is another room of a dead person, but... 
It never got sealed up, so I my character would play in here. But I was gonna say why isn't the, why why not just like kick this over so it's flat? But it's probably stuck that way. I've seen really old rugs just give up at being rugs over time. So this is a custom painted like whale shark wallpaper, a mural. No, it is a wallpaper. Like it's maybe not. I can't tell if that's if that's wrinkled wallpaper or if that is like just underwater texture. Let's see, is it peeling anywhere? There's not really evidence of it peeling anywhere necessarily. It might be painted on. I wonder if I get a flashlight at some point. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. That's what my key opens. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Uh. Um. Okay. Eccentric doesn't really cover it for this family, does it? Okay, let's get in there. Let's learn. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. So Milton stuck in here, like... Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. Sneak in 17 years ago? Or six, 14 years ago, I mean? Is this his room? But I had no idea what was behind that door. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. Molly. Oh. Wait, this is Molly's room? I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Wow. So... I thought that maybe the peepholes meant that those are rooms you're never going to go into. Like, they're sealed off that way. Uh, just with a low render 2D image to pan around like a Five Nights at Freddy's game, but... Uh, no. This is a full location. Also looks massively different compared to the peephole. That was a big long shark and that looked like a flat thing and it looked like so spaced out and stuff and... So much of this room's overall shape was not at all communicated the, during the first view. The Call of the Wild, Nine Lives, Jungle Book, Mummification, Monsters of the Deep, Beasts of Nature, The Magic Mountain. She had interests. Very specific ones. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. You didn't clean out the gerbil poop? Not even that far? Oh, I can't open it again. I didn't mean to close it. All right. Well, it looked like she, looked like the gerbil had like a little ma maze down there or something, which is neat. Who painted that? Who made this? Ins that's cr that, this wall is crazy. Look at this. Got brick texture that gives way to a painting under the bricks. Somehow there's like a flat surface to paint on, surrounded by cobbly bricks everywhere. Goes all the way down to the floor. But wasn't she 10 when she died? So somebody else must have done this. So someone in the family was like a really good painter. Oh. So that picture we saw on the wall was Molly. She had a little cat face on her mouth. And here you can see the masks. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. Maybe, maybe Edie is the painting, the painter then, given this in particular.
December 13, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Okay, that's creepy. Don't just highlight that. Like, that's a normal thing to do. There's a fish bowl. So this is what it was like when she lived here. The answer there, but there's a fish bowl now. Obviously, obviously there's no memorial of her death. Now we're playing the first person diary of a 10 year old dead girl. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. I am concerned about this girl. Ooh, look at that. Is that the floor plan of the house? They have a, a, besides the starfish, of course, they seem to have like a... A house blueprint in a room? You can see the tree out back, which... Almost seemed like it was propping the whole place up or something. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Is there an identical amount of poop there as the... As when... Am I gonna die today? Like, that's how much poop was there... When it was sealed. My Halloween candy was all gone. What are we gonna do? Is this door open? I kept eating and eating. Oh no. You're just gonna jam unfortunate things into her face until she dies? I ate a lot of things that night. I'm surprised that has real berries on it. I hope they're real. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. No, don't climb out the window to the... But suddenly... I was a cat! Okay. Unexpected.